there friends, Steve speaking from the year 1982 and for today's video, I'm an eight year old kid. Why am I eight years old? Because I'm taking you on an adventure to one of my favorite summertime hangouts, the Reynoldsburg Swim Club. First thing you'll notice when you arrive here at the Reynoldsburg Swim Club, there are actually two pools. There's pool number one, kind of looks like a Tetris block and it has diving boards. And then there's pool number two and it is shaped just like a plain old rectangle and it has a slide. Now, in another video, I might talk about those diving boards, but for today's video, I'm gonna tell you about the Reynoldsburg Swim Club slide. And this isn't just any slide. This is two stories of steel and aluminum death. That's right. It is a very fast slide, just straight down. See, we didn't have those crazy uh, tube slides like they do now. You know, the big fancy ones that you see at water parks. Oh no, this is what we had. So pool number one, that was the main pool. That's where everybody swam. Pool number two was only used if it was just slam packed full of people. I mean, it had to be jammed full of people before they opened the second pool. Hey, do you think we should open pool number two? Nah, there's a little bit of room in that corner right there. We'd probably get five more kids in that part. So because pool two was rarely open, it was so easy for my friends and I to talk about it like we couldn't wait to get on that slide. And you gotta imagine, from our distance all the way over here at pool number one, that slide didn't look very big at all. So when one day, when it was super crowded, they decided to open pool number two, my friends and I had no choice but to take on the Reynoldsburg Swim Club slide. So once you get up to the slide, there's a lot of things you didn't notice from afar. Uh, like, first of all, you have to climb a ladder that goes straight up, not at an angle and definitely not steps, I mean, this is a ladder, like straight up to the top of this deck. And then the second is the slide spills you into five feet, maybe six feet of water. And uh, yeah, that wouldn't be a, such a big deal, except I can't swim. So that makes it even more terrifying. So I'm on the ladder and this kid above me, you know, a kid that looks like this, you know the type, right? You know all beat up and busted and you know just doesn't care about his own safety he's doing this on the ladder okay it's giving me a heart attack he could care less but i can't stop worrying about him now my knuckles they're white from gripping this ladder as hard as i can so now the busted kid is at the top of the uh, slide and he's proceeding to block the nozzle of the hose that runs the water down the slide so it's spraying me in the face i mean can this get any worse here I'm at the top of this ladder and this little punk is spraying me in the face with water. He's grinning like some kind of death demon. Then he just flings himself down the slide like there's nothing scary about it at all. So now it's my turn and I have to climb from the ladder up onto this platform. I'm terrified. So I sort of do this thing where I kind of look like a seal on land. I mean, it just looks awful. And now that I'm laying on the top of this large platform, high above the earth. I just want to lay here until somebody comes and saves me. Now that I'm up here laying on this platform, there's a bunch of other kids on the ladder and now they're doing that crazy thing where they kind of pretend to let go and catch themselves real fast. I feel the whole platform swaying left and right like the whole thing is just gonna fall. So I have no choice. I got to get to this slide and go down. So I managed to get to the slide where, yeah, you guessed it, I freeze. I mean, I can't move. I can't go down the slide, but I definitely can't go down the ladder because that's even worse. Plus it's full of kids that are now screaming at me. Go, hurry up, just go already. Maybe the lifeguard can help. <whistles> go, come on, get down the slide already. Oh, well, that's not helping. So this kid behind me, he jumps on the platform and then he just yells, Go, dude! Stop, 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 stop. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. He shoves his knee in my back and down the slide I go. Actually, I was so scared, there wasn't even a sound. That's even scarier. At the end of the slide, there was a good two to three foot drop off into the bush. That's right, the water. I have to swim, or better yet, 
not drown. <whistles> Move out of the way. People are waiting to go down. I'm paddling as fast as I can, but it's not doing any good. But what I do realize is I just bounce up and down on my tiptoes. I can kind of bounce over to the side of the pool very slowly. And with each bounce, gasping a breath of much needed air every time. You gotta move out of the way. Next person's coming down. Come on. If you can't swim, you shouldn't go on the slide. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. Don't worry, it's not happening again. Clearly, this lifeguard was not going to jump in the pool and save anyone's life. Once I got to the edge of the pool, the lifeguard said I wasn't allowed on the slide anymore. And I was fine with that. So, doing research for this video, I looked and looked for a, a picture of this slide, and I couldn't find one. Not only is there no picture of this particular slide, I can't find any other pool that had a slide like this at any other point in history. This thing must have been made by a mad scientist in a lab somewhere and then shipped directly to the Roundsburg Swim Club. <laughs> My greatest creation. Because <laughs> you just can't find an image of this or anything that looks close to this kind of death trap. I couldn't find a picture of the slide, but I did find this t-shirt, which I think is hilarious. Uh, yeah, I didn't create this or anything. I just, it just popped up on Google Images. And uh, yeah, this sums up my experience perfectly. Oh, and unfortunately, the only way you can ever see the Reynoldsburg Swim Club again is through my animated imagination because in 2018, it was torn down. Yes. And replaced with this. Yeah, look at this. This is amazing. This is great. And look how safe those slides are. And there's even a little splash pool for guys like me that can't swim. Why did you go off the slide if you couldn't swim? Yeah, that's a fair question. Well, I was like the only one of my friends that couldn't swim. In fact, uh, maybe I'll do a video about my, my experience with swim lessons. Uh, I was afraid to get my head underwater um, and I hated getting water in my eyes and in my ears. I could just swim enough to not drown. Hey, everyone have a great summer and uh, be safe out there while swimming.